It is the 15th of the 8th, 2011, and this is today's Fallout Report. Arnie Gunnarsson brings up ENE News. Um, this is a website I've been following for uh, quite a while on my reports as far as bringing to you what's going on in Fukushima and other places as far as the nuclear industry. I'm going to definitely cover the other website he recommended as well. So, uh, rain on the hot particles from radioactive clouds to continue for another year. And not just in the Pacific Northwest, says Gunderson. Now, these, uh, this fallout's going to be ongoing for a while. And these are some of the top stories. 30 times the bomb in Hiroshima. And this is still ongoing. Just the insanity continues. Group wants radiation test done in Canada. Health Canada calls 300 times background levels of iodine-131 minute. Now this is the EXSKF um, site that Arnie also recommends. It's got it's got cool uh, like a Fukushima trench pit watch, and uh, it's got a lot going on. But some of the stories it's covering is a uh, radiation in Japan bill will allow the national government to dispose of radioactive debris set to be submitted to the Diet will probably pass, and. Uh, they're dealing with the cleanup already. And I guess tritium has a half-life of 10 days. So things are ongoing in Fukushima confirmed. Crazy story. And this is supposed to be a feel-good story here. The one millisievert. And again, I'm going to link this below, so I'm just real quick. This is where they just want to burn the radioactive material. They're harmless, said one Japanese economist. And um, this is what gets into the atmosphere and into our weather here over in the States and the, the entire Northern Hemisphere. Follow your government's instruction and you'll be okay, says the government. And uh, radioactive manure from cows that ate radioactive rice hay. Now they're saying that this was a, um, a, a limited area, only a couple of farms that the main fertilizer plant isn't reporting anything super unusual. Um, and we all know how that goes. And decrease in uh, white blood cells, headache, nausea in a hospital in Sede City. And uh, they're just going... Uh, I'm not saying that they're all because of the radiation exposure, but I'm telling you with what I'm seeing. And a lot of interesting things going on. And it's another story now. It's radioactive firewood, but it's cult culturally insensitive not to burn it, says Japanese radiation experts. And uh, <clears throat> they're saying don't burn the wood because it's radioactive. And then the JAIF today... Um, they've got a couple things going on. Let me pan that back real quick. And this is the upstate. For uh, there's a lot of technical stuff. I, it's really past me. You know, I can barely get through the news, everybody. But uh, definitely something to check out and look into if you want to get it more into depth. And then they have this earthquake report that they put out just about every day. And today uh, I got no news out of Fukushima, but. Uh, other news, they're saying the radioactive impact on the wheat may be small. Oh my god. Anyway, well there it is for today. And again, if when I find something, I'll make another video. So enjoy while you can, everybody.